Plugins are files or groups of files that extend and expand the functionality of a WordPress site. These files are located in the wp-content slash plugins folder. The plugins add new screen is where you can find and install plugins that are either in the WordPress plugin repository or from the plugins zip file. There are several options for finding a plugin from the WordPress repository. You can click on the featured, popular, or newest link at the top of the install plugin screen to get a list of those plugins. Or you can click on one of the tags in the popular tags cloud at the bottom of the screen for a list of those plugins. Or you can search for a plugin by entering a keyword in the search box and clicking the search plugins button. The result will be a list of plugins in a table with the name, the version number, the star rating, and a description with a link to the plugin author. And under the plugin name are the Install Now button and the Details button for additional information about the plugin, where you can find information like the last update and the version compatibility. This is vital information since you always want a plugin that is actively being updated and maintained for compatibility. Installing a plugin is a two step process installing a plugin and then activating it, although some plugins do require an additional configuration step. When you find a plugin you want, click the Install Now link. Click the Confirmation button and this will start the install process. The plugin can be activated from the Success screen or from the Install Plugins screen. The plugin is then active and ready to be configured or ready for use. If you have a plugin in a zip format on your local computer, you can install it by uploading the zip file. Click the Upload Line link. Click Browse and locate the zip file on your computer. Click Open and this will return you to the Install Plugins page. Click the Install Now button to start the installation and complete the process. To deactivate a plugin, navigate to the Install Plugins screen and click the Deactivate link. After a plugin has been deactivated, it can then be deleted.